Hello, experiences from events that unfold around us are shaping by the way we handle them, which is why we always request that you document them in video or picture format and then send to us on Eyewitness Report. On the program this week, we feature a follow-up to some of the photos you already sent. Ongoing demolition of structures at Jokundi Estate, a Wardofi area of Lagos State, set residents aback. Lots Junction, Ago Palace Way, now Refuse Junction. And finally, the bulldozer visits a part of Ojudu retail market. If you are affected, come for compensation, so says the Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development. Join us for details of these and much more on Eyewitness Report. I'm Chris Elams. <music> Residents of Jakandi Estate and Muwadofin woke up on Monday morning to the sound of bulldozers from the Lagos State Government. The experience here are diverse. We were there on one of the days and captured the mood of the people. Jakundi Estate and Muwadofin receives unusual visitors. Bulldozers from the Lagos State Government and their targets are building extensions put up by flat owners. This regatta is in a bid to restore the estate back to its original master plan. Aside from the building extensions, business operations also within the estate get a knock as over 3,000 containers and compartments are pulled down. This is our time. There is no much bad of it to give somebody. I give you notice of six months. Remove your whatever. Why is somebody, how come somebody will just come and give notice of just seven days? We are not God, we are not spirit to remove blood, remove the, remove the. So it's not fair. Some affected residents have seen attempting to salvage what they could, as most of them were not prepared for what had befallen them, or perhaps they didn't think the demolition would take place this soon. While building extension may have remained a source of concern to some of these residents, the lack of adequate shopping space, which led to the people in the first place resorting to putting up containers as shops, get others agitated. About two weeks ago, we were served a notice from LBIC that we should remove all illegal structures. And we felt the notice was very short, and we actually went down to Alausa. Myself and four other representatives, we went there to have a meeting with the woman in charge. And she explained to us that this case has been has been on for a very long time, that they've kept serving us notice. But I made her understand that most of the notice they've been serving us are actually for the flat sevens and for other, all other illegal structures, that most of the containers we've actually been paying for the past 35 years. So we don't know the notice she was talking about. And she made us understand that they are trying to go back to a mode of an original status quo. And we made her understand that if you are telling about 3,400 shop occupants to move their stuffs, it will have to take a very long period of time. Okay, we now asked her, Madam, if you want us to move it like now, okay, get us an alternative space to move our things and take it there. She said we should try and look for spaces. And we made her understand that we have seven strategic spots in a more other thing, Jack on the estate, that were meant for shopping plazas. Number one is Falk Beams. It's been sold by this same LBIC. Number two is that CC Queen. It's been sold by LBIC. Number three is the spot. ShopRite is using presently. It's being sold by them. Number four is the spot they gave to MTN Mast. It's being sold by them. And all other ones like that. We pleaded. And the minute she got to understand that we've taken the matter to court, they came the next day. If you want to get anything now, if you want to buy guy, we'll have to move maybe about five, six miles away now. If you don't go to Vesta, we'll have to go to somewhere around Alaba. But before, it's something you can get, you know, within Within, within, within the neighborhood. But that can, it's not possible now. If you want to buy even ordinary soap, we cannot, we cannot get it now. Like yesterday, I want to fill my gas. I could not. 
Are you getting me? Because virtually all the old thing had been, had, been, had, had been demolished. We have children in the school. We have uh, people in this, um, in the, uh, 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 both a uh, treasury, uh, 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 um, institution, high institution, something like that. The whole thing is done completely now. We cannot, we cannot sponsor those people again. Now. This is where they, we realize, you can see how old I am now. <laughs> I am a retired soldier. You understand me? Even I, I have not been paid by something like that. This is the little something that comes in that accrues to me. It's what I live on. Now everything has been taken away from me. Will I die? It's been days since the exercise started, and it will continue till every legal structure comes down. But for those close to the shopping center, they claim they never got any notification. That's my flat up there. I used to cook here. So I went out. I just some some people just called me that some people are coming. They are here demolishing my and uh, this thing, my container. I have my loads inside the container. See, they'll spoil everything. My cooking utensils. See everything outside. You can check inside my bus. All my, you can see all those chargers. They broke everything. And they didn't even give us any notice. Not even a day. In my own streets, they did not mark my shop. They mark just streets and shopping complex. They did not notify us anything. My shop is Block 24, Flat 1. And now they come, they come and claim all my, what I'm selling. As there are those who are opposed to the demolition, so also are those who are for it. When they bought this block of flats, there is an agreement between you and the government that you will not do anything extension or container or shops. But just because the government is not coming to check one person will do the container, the rest of them will, will join. A lot of people have sold their flats and they own three containers. They come back to collect the money. Some people left their flat, they rent it out and be sleeping inside the containers. Can you imagine? So I, I think for, for the retirees who are, who are using it as a means of income, it's painful. But to the technocrats, there is peace now. There is, you can experience breeze that will flow, you know, that will blow you. The, 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 the cats find their way, the rats, even snakes, under these containers. Some people are using containers as, as, as hostels, 100 naira per day, inside government estates. And it's not only my two, it's everywhere. So for a while it will be painful, they will find, maybe they will start using umbrellas or something to sell, fine. Well, I mean, to me, I don't have containers, I'm a resident, I like it. But if you wave it both, it will be painful, but they will get over it. What they are doing is right. We are sleeping in sickness. They are clearing away from us they want us to be old and we are getting old. I thank them for what they have done. Yes, this is not like this in Britain. It's not they know that we have gone abroad and they are making something nice. So they are doing something good. To me, they are doing something good. It's a mega city. It's been a hectic day and as time goes by, so losses mount. How wise this decision may be, especially judging by the fact that most of the people affected are the aged is another kettle of fish. While illegal structures were the target, some private individuals have also had their property destroyed. They started the mention on, on, on 2nd of February, and we are thinking maybe Luli came to demolish all, uh, all, uh, all the canopies, all the shelves, containers. But later, they now came back, they started demolishing all, uh, all our fence. And the state government said, the county said, we can, we can have a fence that, that below that doesn't have, um, that is just on four feet to the ground level. So everybody complied. They demolished some of the fence. They they moved it down to the to the four feet level. And they, okay, they came yesterday and at 8 a.m. in the morning, they started demolishing all even the four, even the two, to two down to the to the, to the, down the land level. So they left. They now came this morning to demolish some of the stores that are meant. For, that means that, that we, we met there when, when, when we went back to this estate. At least I've been in the estate for, since 1984. And it, this thing has been existing since that time. This demolition for a lot of people runs deeper than meets the eyes. It's a case of sources of livelihood completely annihilated. Returning Jock on the estate and to its original state means a lot more recent structure may need to go. But it's pertinent for Lagos State to compensate those whose property were illegally demolished, regardless of their status. This, no doubt, would help in the rehabilitation process.
They know why they do it. Whatever reason they have for doing it is best known to them. But they should know that it affects our income and the rest of us. They should know how to compensate us a little. I think you understand me. Look at this man right now. Look at what they have bought. What we bought for, that pound bought for 1,000, 5,000. It's what they are buying for 300 naira right now. What are we going to do with that? Let them compensate us. One more question Lagos State should be willing to provide answers to is, if the shops were illegal, why did they collect registration fee from them, as well as annual charges? Efforts are on to get the management of the Lagos Building Investment Company, under whose order the demolition took place, to respond to this and many more questions.